Uh, I try to mind myself after Taj Gibson. Uh, he just goes out there. He gives it his all. He does whatever it takes for the team. He does all the little things, rebounding, blocking shots, and just being a good teammate. What do you think are some misconceptions about your game? Do you understand or don't? Uh, I feel that coming from Syracuse, just playing his zone, I can't play man, and that I can't shoot the ball that much. So, I mean, I'm just going out there, trying to give him all and see what happens. How do you prove that wrong? Or how do you say that you're just not really I just got to go out there and doing the drills during the game to just play my game and, and be, just have fun. What is it mean? like for you on Syracuse? Obviously, there was a whole turmoil and you know, the investigation and all that stuff. What was that like for you going through that? Uh, I mean, when we found out, my teammates were sad, and I told them not to be sad. I've been to the tournament three times in a row. I've been to the Final Four. It was a great experience. Not a lot of people have done that. So I, mean, I just told them to keep their heads up and just, just play our hearts out. And I mean, that's what everyone else did. Jim Beham came out and said he was sorry, especially for you. You were yeah. the only senior on that team, right? Yeah, I was. Did he have a conversation with you about that? Oh, yeah. I mean, me and Coach Beham talk about it, and he just told me just go out there and play my heart out. This is basically going to be my NCAA tournament and show everyone that I can play. You didn't get to, you know, get to play the NCAA tournament, but can you just talk about the benefits for you to be able to play all, to stay all four years in Syracuse? Uh, it was great. I learned a lot. I learned how to be a captain. Um, I had a lot of great leaders, Chris Joseph, Deion Waiters, Scoop, CJ Fair. So I learned a lot from them. And I mean, by being around them, I tried to model myself like them. And, and they started working for me this year. What are the main things that you could offer an NBA team in terms of your greatest strengths? Uh, being assertive, being strong, going out there, being physical, playing defense, and getting rebounds. As you approach the draft, there's something specifically that you want to work on to get better? Uh, I've been working on a lot of shooting since I left Syracuse. So just, just getting a lot of shots, so trying to work on that. Uh, not just be working out anymore. It's, it's definitely great. I mean, I've been in Vegas for like a month and a half now, so just to get out of the heat. But I mean, I've been working hard out there, and just to come out here and show everyone that I've been that the hard work just won't pay off. What's the experience in Chicago been like? Uh, it's been great. It's, it's not like none other. Um, it's, it's a once in a lifetime thing, so you just got to come out here, enjoy it, and, and just have fun. Uh, Talks to the Bucks and Magic, the Suns, Charlotte. Uh, I can't even remember right now. I think it's 2 1. Yeah. I haven't talked to Celtics yet. Uh, I haven't looked at my schedule for tomorrow. I'm just going day by day. Yeah, I just live my life, man. <laughs> What's the process that you go through to prepare for these team interviews? Uh, I mean, I go with my agent through all the things I need to talk about, just the main points, just me being a family person, uh, just being a hard worker, and that. Um, I'm assertive and I just want to do what's best for the team.